Hi everyone, hope you're doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. This is the platform where I come and uh, share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. Today's topic is the continuation of our inventory valuation series where we are speaking about the different inventory valuation available in Microsoft Dynamics uh, 365. Uh, last video which we have posted on this topic was the moving average that how it works now in the continuation of that moving average uh, I thought to share that what adjustment or the revaluation options available for my uh, moving average so just a quick recap uh, uh, if you want to understand what moving average is uh, this is the definition which we have posted earlier also and I'm going to also add the uh, video link in the description so if you have not watched it you can go and watch it the main important thing which we are talking about is the moving average adjustment and the revaluation uh, so where it this scenario can come uh, I think we have already spoken about this particular scenario in case of the weighted average FIFO and LIFO now there is a different option which we need to use if we are using the moving average so this scenario is like if you have received an inventory uh, which uh, for a product which is using moving average and uh, uh, by mistake if you have posted a unit price different from what it's supposed to be so for example you were supposed to post 10 uh, uh, you posted 100 you was supposed to put uh, 100 you posted 10 or vice versa or anything right so how do you correct that so that's the objective of this video now if I talk about uh, a specific thing that uh, uh, in the adjustment which we need to understand is that you post the adjustment as on today's date so you cannot go historical and uh, post the adjustments so that's one thing which we need to keep in mind and the adjustments are posted only for the on hand inventory which you have in the system as of today so so these are the two uh, uh, considerations which we need to keep in mind so we cannot post the adjustment or reevaluate the inventory which has been already consumed on a different uh, uh, evaluation method now let's look at the uh, demo uh, for this so before we start the uh, uh, demo let's uh, look at one example from the uh, excel spreadsheet which we used to uh, have in other series so this is my uh, adjustment uh, example so for example there is a one purchase transaction if i have 10 quantities for that and the value is 100 which is 10 each so this is posted now let's say if i make a sales in this particular transactions of four quantity which will obviously go at 10 each which is 40 and it is posted well, it is posted now now if i see on hand uh, quantity at this moment it is six and uh, the value is 60 and now if i realize that my unit cost which i have posted for this moving average earlier using this the first uh, purchase transaction was not supposed to be 10 it is supposed to be 15 uh, so how do i adjust that so in this case i can post a adjustment which will be five each for six quantity which is 30 i can post a adjustment 30 and then net value after that will be my 90. now one thing to note here that we cannot adjust the value for already consumed transaction so let's see this how it works in uh, in 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 dynamics so i'm going to uh, uh i'm going to show you one product which i have created for this and we are going to uh, see this example with that particular uh, product okay so let me quickly switch uh, my uh, uh, switch my screen so now uh, we are in microsoft dynamics 365 this is the product which i have created and if i see the item model group for this is the moving average and for a demo pur purpose what i have done is that i have already posted uh, two transactions for this one with 10 uh, quantity positive is 100 and five, one is minus four okay now let's say at this moment i realize now that uh, the remaining six quantity should be reevaluated at uh, uh, 15 each instead of 10 
so how do i do that so what i can do is that uh, let me go back uh, from this screen so uh, we can go to uh, inventory management periodic closing and adjustment at the same i mean the same screen which we have been using for the fifo lifo and other adjustment or the recalculation and here i have the adjustment option where i have this revaluation for moving average this transaction option is used for weighted average and fifo lifo for adjusting the value so now i go here uh, revaluation and then what i can do is that i can select my transaction which i want to revaluate so i'm selecting the product which we have used here and if i click okay uh, this is going to give me the six quantity which are right now on hand the value is 60 the unit cost is 30 now here i need to enter the value which i want to add to this particular uh, uh, product so which is let's say if i want to add 30 more because 60 is already available so i want to post the adjustment of 30 uh, which is 5 each uh, so the moment i add the value 30 here if you see it is updating the the unit price which is going to be after this so now what I can do is that uh, I can just post this uh, adjustment here and click OK. And one thing to note here that we did not select any date. So which means it will be posted as on today's date. So now this has been posted. If I want to see uh, uh, if I want to see the adjustment which it has posted, I can go here and check the settlement. So it has posted 30. I can go and see the voucher which will be typical, uh, your inventory will be debited because you are increasing the value, right? And it is going to, uh, in the cost uh, cost of uh, revaluation for moving average uh, adjustment account. Now, same thing, if I go back to my product master and the inventory transaction for that product, so uh, I can just refresh this. And once I refresh, you can see that uh, uh, my the value for this uh, particular uh, 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 particular product has been increased to uh, 130 because earlier it was 130 but uh, 40 is already consumed out of it so the remaining value is 90 so if i go and consume uh, my inventory at this point of time it is going to be based on my 15 as a unit uh, uh, price which we have in the system so if I go and create another adjustment channel, let's just to check after updating the value, how it is going to behave. I'm posting a minus one. And if I post uh, the value here, it is got posted, journal got posted. Now, if I go here, let's see at what cost it is going. So now if you see earlier, it got posted the consumed at 10 each. Now it is getting consumed at uh, 15 each. So which means our the revaluation for uh, the for the for the uh, inventory has been done properly. That's it for this video. Uh, hope this will help you in putting the adjustment for the moving average valuation method products, and uh, you can utilize this. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care.